10 measures of beauty were given to the world. Nine were acquired by Jerusalem. When you gaze upon the Jerusalem landscape on a crisp autumn morning and read the history of the city and its walls, you can truly understand the depth of this Talmudic saying. At a moving ceremony that took place at the foot of Mount Zion, the Restorers of Jerusalem Garden was dedicated. This magnificent garden sets the scene for the recently renovated and preserved city wall. The park is located at the foot of the mountain, south of Jaffa Gate, and includes lawns, olive trees, benches, and paths that are accessible for everyone. When the Jewish National Fund was called upon to assist in the improvement of the old city walls, we undertook this task with great pride, not only for its history, but also for our love and commitment to Eretz Yisrael. The entire project is the culmination of the dream of the many partners who implemented it together, including KKLJNF, the Jerusalem Foundation, the Israel Antiquities Authority, the Jerusalem Municipality, and the Nature and Parks Authority. The support of Friends of JNF Canada made it possible to transform this place into a park that draws locals and visitors from all over the world. The future of Jerusalem in many, many ways depends on our ability to open up the past. And since 1967, when Jerusalem was reunited, we're back to develop Jerusalem in a similar way it was two and three thousand years ago. Opening up Jerusalem for the benefit of the world to enjoy. Maintaining freedom of religion, freedom of movement. The JNF Canada brings to Israel dozens of projects and they are going from north to south. And if you want to be involved, if you want your name to be inscribed in the land of Israel, this is the way to go. This is the largest organization that keep in touch with overseas organizations and build the state of Israel. Our names will live on. The names of all the restorers of Jerusalem are inscribed on the wall you see before you and the link to the city of Jerusalem in perpetuity. Members of the Canadian mission expressed their personal connection to this unique project in the heart of the city. They understand the local and global importance of preserving the walls and nurturing the areas alongside them. I just thought it was a fantastic project and I knew I wanted to be part of it. And I thought it would be a very fitting tribute to my parents who I, who I was. He'd be, he'd be very proud of this. Well, it's a very special project, This, the comments that were made here this morning about it being in perpetuity. That's basically it, that this will always be here. So to be able to have our children, or one day our grandchildren and next generations come here, we know that this will always be here and that they'll be able to know that we did something meaningful. The special Canadian delegates noted that touring Israel with KKLJNF was a very special experience, far beyond what they would have had as regular tourists. I think that we go beyond the, the realm of the average tour and I think we have the ability to be able to bring people to significant um, places of interest and therefore show people that we are so much, so much more than trees and the expanse of what we do. KKLJNF's partners in this project are so appreciative of this fruitful collaboration that they have already invited JNF Canada to participate in the next project. That will be the restoring of a historic building uh, in Teddy Park, which is right across the valley from where we stand. The emotional and informative visit of the JNF Canada mission to Israel will most certainly serve as an inspiration to broadcast the importance of these projects on a local, and international level. Friends from abroad, from Canada and other places, you're shareholders of Jerusalem, and you've just demonstrated how you care about improving the city for the generations to come. Thank you on behalf of the people of Jerusalem. Toda rabah. <laughs>